Good morning, boys and girls. I am here to read a story to you. Oscar and the Frog, a book about growing. Written and illustrated by Geoff Waring. Title page, Oscar and the Frog. Once again, Oscar and the Frog, a book about growing. Written and illustrated by Geoff Waring. One spring day by the pond, Oscar saw some creatures he had not seen before. Frog hopped up. They're tadpoles, Frog said. I was a tadpole before I grew up. Oscar stared at Frog. He didn't look like a tadpole at all. Don't be silly, Frog, Oscar said laughing. It's true, Frog said. He told Oscar how frogs grow. At first, I looked like a dot in an egg. The egg was soft as jelly. I grew in the egg, then hatched out as a wiggle, wiggly tadpole. I could breathe underwater through gills like a fish. I was hungry for pond weed. It helped me to grow. Later, my gills disappeared as I grew lungs to breathe with. I grew back legs, then short, then front legs, and my tail started to shrink. After three months, I was a little frog. I kicked my little legs and jumped out of the water to live on the bank. What else hatches out of eggs? Oscar asked. They looked in the pond. Frog showed Oscar some eggs that had been laid underwater. Many water snails lay their eggs in pouches of jellies on stone or plants. Sorry, pou pouches of jelly on stones or plants. Dragonflies often lay their eggs on the stem of a plant just below the water. A fi fish lay lots of eggs. The perch winds her long threads around plants, twigs, or stones. <laughs> you see my little head sticking out? I'm trying to see if you guys can see the book. They looked on the bank. And Frog showed Oscar some eggs that had been laid where it's dry. Many kinds of butterflies lay their eggs on the undersides of leaves. When the caterpillars hatch out of eggs, they eat the leaves. Tiny little eggs right there. Many birds lay their eggs in nests high off the ground. Here, the chicks will be safe from animals who might want to eat them when they hatch. Ducks often nest on the ground close to water, so their ducklings will be able to swim quickly away from danger. Do plants hatch out of eggs? Oscar asked. No, said Frog. Most plants sprout from seeds. Each plant makes its own kind of seeds. The seeds and apples are stored inside their fruit. Strawberry plants have small seeds outside their fruit. Poppy plants have tiny seeds they are light enough to be carried by the wind. 
Coconuts are the seeds of a coconut palm trees. They are huge and can float. Most seeds ripen above the ground, but the seeds of a peanut plant can grow in the earth. Did I hatch out of an egg? Or did I sprout from a seed? Oscar, Oscar asked. Neither, said Frog. You were born. You look a lot like you do now. Only much smaller, with fur and paws, ears and a tail, you were hungry for milk from your mother. Why was I hungry for milk? Oscar asked. It helped you grow, said Frog. Milk for you, pond weed for me, leaves for caterpillars, and bugs for those baby birds. We all need different food to grow. Oscar stretched. I am so big now, he told Frog, but you're not as big as you will be, said Frog. Are you? asked Oscar. Yes, Frog answered. I've stopped growing now. I'm as big as I'm going to get. How long does it take to grow up? Oscar asked. It depends, said Frog. This flower will be full grown in a few days. But this young tree won't be tall until you are a very old cat. The baby birds will be as big as their parents next spring. Frog went on, but the tadpoles will take three springs or more to be as big as I am. Each living thing takes its own time. Just then, Oscar saw his mother was coming. What about me? He asked Frog. How long will I stay a kitten? You will be full grown cat by winter, Frog said, as big as your mother is now. Oscar looked at his mother. She was much bigger than he was. Don't be silly, Frog, he said laughing. It's true said Frog, wait and see. Okay, let's think about growing by the pond. Oscar found out these things, okay? Beginnings, living things begin in different ways. So right here, some hatch out of eggs, some sprout from seeds, and some are born. How did you begin? On your next walk, look for living things that hatch, sprout, and or are born. Okay, food. All living things have to eat to grow. They need different kinds of food. Pondweed for the tadpole, leaves for the caterpillar, and bugs for the bird. What helped you to grow when you were very young? What do you eat that helps you grow now? So those are very different, aren't they? Okay. Getting bigger. Living things grow at different speeds. 
takes a few days for this flower to grow, a few months for the chicks to be full size, a few years for the tadpole to be a full size frog, and many, many years for a tree to grow. How long will it take you to grow as big as your mother or father? Oscar thinks growing is great. Do you think so too? Well, that was a fun story, Oscar and the Frog. So I want you to spend some time and do the things that it asked at the end of the story. Talk about different things and how they grow when you're out for a walk. Talk about the foods they need to grow and figure out, is this going to take a long time for this to grow or is it going to be much faster than how long it takes for you to grow? Well, have a good day and we will see you next time.